guys, welcome back to our channel. This is episode number four of our series, Time Hop With Us. And so what we're doing in these videos is we are going back to different decades and trying out the makeup style for that decade. So far we have done the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s, and today we will be time hopping to the 60s. So in these videos we aren't really focusing on the fashion and the hair per se, but we think it's more fun and adds more character to the video. So you guys are gonna get to enjoy us trying our hand at fashion and hair from these decades and also our main focus, the makeup. We are gonna go get our outfit and our hair done and we will see you in a minute. Let's, Let's hop, hop into, into the, the 60s. 60s. And welcome back to the 60s. So now we're gonna jump into the makeup and do our makeup like they would have in the 60s. Okay. Women applied pale cream foundation and lastings and lashings of powder for a flawless look. So pale. So cake. Cake it on your face. <laughs> pale foundation and a lot of powder. Yeah. Let's do that then. using the one, the only, L'Oreal Infallible. I'm using Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Okay, nice and pale. Now you got a cake on. Cake on powder. Powder. I don't like that. Oh boy. Powder your nose. Okay. Powder is on. Lots of it. Okay. It's everywhere. Blush. Warm up brown or bronze sculpted the cheek under the cheekbone oh we get bronzer what my heart good because we're so pale now bronzer bronzer all right sculpted the cheeks under the cheekbone i'm like in the 60s more and more by the moment. I guess they didn't go all over the face with it though. I guess just under the cheekbone, my dear. You're out of luck with the rest of the face. Mm -hmm. Better than nothing. I'll that take is. what I can get. Now what? Oh, it so says do we do blush? A lighter bronzer on the cheek apple, nose, and chin. So they didn't use blush? Apparently they used a lighter bronzer on their cheek. Okie dokie. Try have a lighter bronze. Dip into an eyeshadow palette here. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Go with this one. I think I'll, I'm gonna use this. Okay, I'm using a shimmery bronzer, lighter bronzer. Where does it say? Cheek apples, nose, and chin. Very so odd. That's weird. Pretty sure it's doing nothing also. I'm not sure I want it to do anything. You know? Considering it's on my cheeks. Did you do your nose and your chin? Yep. Okay. I can't tell what this one is. Me either. What you but Okay, next is what eyeshadow? Eye eyeshadow. The popular palette was blue, gray, and white, but that's just what this one blog says. Well, this see, this one says dark pink, green, and blue, but we looked at pictures of eyeshadow from the 60s, and we noticed something very, very standout-ish, and that's that they normally have like a light flush of color over the eyelid completely, and then they have like a really dark shade of that color in the crease, so I think... That's the look I'm gonna go for, because I was inspired by those pictures and I thought it was 
cool and something different than a lot of other eras. Something similar to this. Let's see, we've got a couple other ones that we took too. Then there's this one, this one. I don't know how well you guys can see these. I'm sure I zoom them in. That one, this is the one I think Mariah should do. It doesn't so match me. It doesn't match. But I did see one on Pinterest that was like the same kind of design. Different shades. But it was yellow. Yeah. It was like this color there yellow. There you go. So that's what we're going to be attempting. I think I'm going to do more of the brownish style. So I need a light brown on my eyelid and then a very dark brown making a crease line because it's not really blended out. It's just like a very harsh, well, it's kind of blended out towards the top a little bit, but mostly just a very harsh crease line. I need to put down a white base. They didn't do that. Yeah, I know, but my yellow ain't showing up. Actually, we're going to. We're just going to do a light dusting of it. Of this one. And then go in a darker, heavier. In this inspiration photo, there's a very, very light bit of the same light brown underneath the um, bottom lash. I'm gonna do that too while I've got that color out. Not much happening down there. It's mostly gonna be mascara down there, I think. Or eyeliner to make the mascara lines. You know how they used to, like twiggy style. Okay, there's my brown. Now I'm gonna find a different brush so I can do the crease line. An angled brush, you think? Oh, not that one. It's got red lipstick on it. <laughs> now I'm going to take my darker yellow. It looks scary. <laughs> okay. Oh, for my brown, I used the bronzer out of the Ulta Beauty palette. And for the dark brown, for my crease, I'm going to use the dark brown out of the Little Mini Elf palette, which is busted, but it's, it's the shade that I want, so... What so, I'm gonna use. the yellow is not really doing anything. This is the weirdest. I honestly never realized this was a thing. Me either. This one's focused way more just like directly in the crease. Some of the other ones like really go up and over, kind of like what Mariah is doing. I feel like I look sick. <laughs> you could have chose blue. I think the blue brown would have showed up better. Yeah. Cause the yellow, you can't really tell a big difference. No, you can't. Maybe add a little bit of a brown to your yellow one to make it more that, um, like that. I never picked up on this look before. I don't know how. But I wasn't like, whoa, they did their eyeshadow like that? So I usually notice makeup stuff like that. Not this time. Can find it. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. Interesting there. I now have to add yellow. Oh, it was a hard color to use. For my hair inspiration, 
just since we're waiting for Mariah to get done. I used Julianne Moore's look and I thought it was really pretty on her. I did not um, achieve the same fullness, but I think she's got like way more hair than I do, so that's right. Where's the look you did? I thought you sent it to me last night. I did. And this is the picture that Mariah got her hair inspiration. Okay, y'all, this is good as it's getting. Okay. Oh, we didn't do eyebrows on this one either. Did it say eyebrows? Surely they did eyebrow. I am really sad that my hair didn't poof up as much as hers. I teased the heck out of it. Okay, so for eyebrows, they did a more of a natural, but filled in kind of fuller look. Not like massive eyebrows, but just filled in what they had, you know? I'm really noisy over here. Okay, there's your eyebrows. So, eyeliner was the one of the most important makeup tools in the 60s. It was mostly black, but that's whenever the white liner and the water line became popular too. We don't have white liner to put in our water line, so you get in black, <laughs> not in the water line. We're gonna look at the eyeshadow inspiration picks and just do eyeliner similar to what they had on theirs. So the eye look that I am trying to recreate has just black eyeliner on the top eyelid with a little wing and the one that i was trying to recreate but didn't really recreate because it's in a different shade it's in a different color <laughs> actually i don't know it's the same we'll do i looked up a different picture instead of the one that i was using at first so it's got just a black wing which is hard is that see. eyeliner that they have drawn underneath for their mascara we might have to reuse eyeliner again yeah, with the mascara to get the to fake, the twiggy look. You know, you yeah. guys know what we're talking about. What you talking about, Willis? It comes out fine. It's just me. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, right? So I have to do it underneath my eye because she used it as her bottom lashes. This could get interesting. This could be very bad. I would use the small one. I should probably stop shaking. How far over did she go? All the way? Of course. Of course she did. <laughs> that one's too cute. Okay, so it says eyelashes placed on both top and bottom for a real retro flapper effect. We are not placing them on top and bottom. We're going to place them on top. We'll draw some extra ones on bottom, which Mariah's already done. So we are using these Ion false lashes from. Actually, they're from the Dollar Tree. We heard that they were good, so we're gonna try them out. I've never put on a fake lash in my life. I have. But it'll still be interesting to watch her do it. <laughs> She's a way too long for my eye. Ooh, pretty though. They're very pretty. Okay, since we're doing this just for the sake of this video, I think we're all just going to try to stick them on because they are sticky. Will they stay like that? Mm -hmm. Are you staying like that? Good enough? Or? Mm -hmm. Good enough, good enough.
pouches are super pretty. I'm really impressed with them. Like if I actually glued them on, they would be amazing. Okay. Here's what's coming on. I'm gonna do mascara on the bottom lashes and then do some exaggerating of the bottom lashes. I just gotta pretend that they're in the right spot because it will not stick in the corner. I don't like the rest of it, don't look jacked up, anyways. <laughs> okay. The only spot it's not sticking is in the, or in the order corner. Order corner? In the inner corner, yeah. Mine too, that's just because they need to be bent down. Yeah. We're just gonna pretend that they're sticking because it's just for this video. Yeah, because I ain't wearing my makeup like this anywhere else. <laughs> okay, so let's move nope. on to lips. It says for lips, they use very pale pinks and reds. So. I'm going with pink because I've done red for the last three decades. So I'm gonna do pink this time. I think red would look way too out there with yellow. I am using the Revlon Kiss Clumping Lip Cream. I'm gonna in 505 Apricot Silk, use, and I might add something to it. I'm just gonna use this pink that I don't know the name of it because it's worn off. <laughs> My lips is done. My eyelash is falling off. So these are our finished 60s looks. Next week we will be tackling the 70s. Uh, we hope you guys like the looks that we came up with. We think that they are very interesting. I think mine's more of like a natural, everyday, what somebody would have wore back then, and Mariah's is more of like a fashion inspired, what the fashion world looked like at that time. So both very interesting, both fun. Um, the harsh crease line is very different, which very was one different. of my favorite parts of trying this. But the rest of mine, I feel like, is something that I would probably wear on a daily basis. I would wear the lips. <laughs> There's the positivity. Not the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you guys come back next week for the 70s. If you want to see the 30s, 40s, and 50s, you can go check out the playlist on our channel at A Dusty Diamond. We also post videos on Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays are Bible studies, and Wednesdays are faith-based videos. If you have any ideas for faith-based videos, pop it down in the comments because we're looking for ideas. We're looking for ideas. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys have a good day, have a good week, and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.